Hey, peeps! What are you doing? What are you doing? Always gotta be on film. Always gotta be wherever mommy's at. So, something I love to do in January is clean out drawers. So, you know, I'm periodically going through my racks of clothes and pulling stuff so that we can do Poshmark sales and so on and so forth. But I never go through my drawers and pull out stuff that I want to sell on Poshmark. So I thought, you know what? Starting this January, every January, if not more, but for sure January. Because I, I, I always feel like January is like fresh start also. You know, not only is it a Monday sometimes where I do my fresh starts, but also I think January is a good time to do a fresh start too. So January is I'm going to start going through my uh, drawers and figuring out what I should and should not hang on to. Like, okay, let's look at this. <laughs> Carolina, you think I should give this to you? Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's good. So, you know, God knows how long this has been in my drawer. I'm sure I bought it <laughs> to wear for something. I don't know why it's called killer legs. I think that's the last thing everybody's looking at is her legs. Are you looking at her legs? No. <laughs> I think we're looking at a whole bunch of other stuff, not legs. But anyways, it's like, should I or should I not hang on to this? Yeah. So as I sit here and go through all of this stuff, I'm like, okay, same thing. Fence, fenced neck pantyhose. Why did I buy half this stuff? <laughs> Look, red fishnet stockings. You know? Oh, here we go. Oh, the Vanessa Luxury Thigh High Stay Ups. Now, I know what I bought these for. So these were actually for a lingerie set. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It was this lingerie set. Yeah. Same color. Uh -huh. Same color hose. Yeah. So today, we're going to go through... <laughs> today, we're going to go through things and get rid of things and donate things and do all that fun stuff. Look at this, uh, this is brown. These are cute, but I never wear brown. So anyways, Caroline is in here cleaning closets, cleaning, 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 dusting, dusting, dusting. And I've decided today is also a good time to go through stuff that's yes. in these drawers. Oh my God, look at all these fishnet stockings. <laughs> Ooh, this one's got a pretty design on it. That's pretty. Oh. So, anyways, come along with me while we explore what's staying and what's going and what I have not ever showed you yet. Okay, you ever find things in your drawers you haven't... Look, at, look how big this is. This looks like a doll <laughs> for a doll, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I gotta try it on because I don't believe for one minute it's a sock. It can't be. Like, what? What would I wear it to? Like, okay, you gotta move. Like, where's the, where's the toe? Oh my god. Okay, where, where would I wear these? Oh, you know what? These are probably for women that wear those. What are they called, Mary Janes? Mary Janes. The shoe that just goes right here. Uh huh. I think it's, it's for put that one, is it? Uh, I have a pair. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. I think. Let me see. Let's try it on. Let's right. try it on. This is Okay. This is a right. We're going to put it on and see if this is. Let me see. Okay. <laughs> see? Oh my God, you're right. So I must have bought them. Well, remember I got these? just to wear in between set when we were filming or something. But I was like, I could never wear these because I think they're just, my my opinion, I think they're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, look, it's a perfect sock for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am, how many years have I had these? Well, oh, no never worn them. Mm -mm. Okay, they're gone. Okay, uh, so I'm never gonna wear these either. Does your sister wear Mary Jane's? 
Uh, like that? I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're not going to waste space. No, there's not. No, they're not toys. They're not toys. They're not a toy. Okay, so we've got to find all the matches to these because I'm never going to wear these. <laughs> I, don't, I don't wear Mary Jane's. <laughs> so Let me see. we'll find the matches to those. Oh, look. So another pair of brown tights. So somewhere there was a pair of brown tights. Oh, right here. Look. Cute. I was kidding. These are cute. I must have got them on sale for, oh, they were $15. I got them on sale. Got them on sale. Okay, so look, years and years. Look, more tights. Opaque. I wear a lot. In the wintertime, I do wear opaque tights because I like to wear opaque tights with uh, certain dresses because your legs are cold, you know, mm -hmm. and you don't always want to have a spray tan. Okay, so look at this dress and laundry tape. How many times have I tried to find this tape? <laughs> Quit. Never. <laughs> no, how many times have I tried to find this tape and I could never find it? And now here it is. But I don't even know how to get into it. How do you get into it? If all else fails, give it to Carrie and she'll figure it out. Okay. So we have more fishnet stockings. Oh my God. Seriously. Control top pantyhose. Off black. Wow. Okay. We have so much crap in here. Oh, look at control top nude. Some of this stuff. Look at jet black. Oh, did you figure it out? Mm -hmm. Oh, here's the here's the how many of you have these things? Look. Much. I never stick them in my shoes. Mm -mm. I don't know why I even have them. Seriously. Oh, look. Bra converter. Look at there. A bra converter. You can convert a bra. How many of us have invested in those and never used them? Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Look. Here's all these things. Ideal for women's shoes. A three pack, and I've never ever used them ever, 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 ever. Look, so that must be where all of this comes from. This and this goes in there. How many, how many of us bought this stuff thinking we were going to use them? And I've never used them on a shoe ever, ever. Oh, here's a twin. Here's one of them. Oh, yeah, this. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so look at there. So now we have these insult. Does your sister use these in her shoes? Somebody, somebody needs to use them. Yeah. Maybe for work. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Look. Comfort. Maybe so three, for work. three pack. Look at this. Boom. God knows how long they've been in my drawers. Carried, yeah. carried them around for years. <laughs> gloves, winter gloves. Yeah, here we are, freezing our butts off in Texas. Yay. Okay, so what, baby? you guys are pathetic. Yeah, I'm you okay. need so much attention. Okay, now more tights, more tights, more tights. Look at here, fashion textured tights. Uh, one size suntan, sheer to the toe. It's like pantyhose, pantyhose, um, or no, no. These are just socks. These are for the boots. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we want to keep these. Which fine? Yeah, that's fine. So, right over here. but what's funny, guys, is how long have I had this, and I've never used it. Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 Okay. So, anyways, I think it's the first of the year. Out with the old, in with the new. So, let's get these drawers cleaned up. Cleaned up. Okay, here we go. Now, this is more of my style. These are the, remember these? These are the gloves you have to wear for parties. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. Get your hand in there. Well, parties are, you know, if you want to get lucky. Yeah. You always need a pair of black gloves for a party. Never, never fails, never fails. 
it always adds to a, to a look. So we got two different versions here. We're gonna keep those for sure. We still got another insole. I can't find the twin to it. Oh, that's a black one. I don't know where it's at. Maybe we'll find it. Don't know. Okay. So here we go. Oh Lord. And see then we have all of this lingerie. Okay, fair enough. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> that doesn't look like anything I would wear, does it? Yes. Yeah. You think? Uh huh. You think I'd wear it? Okay. We better hang on to it. You never know when you're going to have to get dressed for a party and look the part. Look at these. These are gloves. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. I think it's in over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Halfway up. Yeah. Okay. You better hang on to those too. Okay. 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 Quit looking at me. Quit, quit, quit. Oh, I have plenty of gloves. Good God. These are over the arm for like a party party. Oh, I even got them in red. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I love a red. Black, red, more glove things. Okay. Y'all saw upstairs my collection of Halloween costumes. Good God. <laughs> Good God. So yeah, so you know how sometimes it's called out of sight, out of mind? So like I said, when I see my clothes, I know what I want to get rid of, it's time to get rid of, so on and so forth. But when it's in the drawer, you always lose track of what's in there. And so invariably stuff starts to build up. Like what was I thinking when I thought I had to have all of these tie dyed socks? I had to have all these tie dyed socks. Do you think I've ever worn them? Look at tie dyed socks, never worn once. <laughs> so Carolina, Carolina, Carolina. Well, the great thing is, is Carolina's daughter is turning 12, I think, right? Mm -hmm. So guess, guess who's gonna love these? Camila. I think Camila. Camila it will drive. love these tie dyed socks. She'll think they're fun. Mm -hmm. So we're donating all of these little tie dyed socks to Camila because she will love them. Unless Ricky wants them first. <laughs> Unless we can get the burnt. Yeah. So, tie dye socks going to Camila. Then, I had to have all of these fluorescent socks. Like, what was I thinking? First of all, I don't wear Mary Janes. Okay? I don't wear Mary Janes. So, what was I thinking when I had to go and buy all of these fluorescent colored Mary Jane socks? Okay. So, guess what? They're going to Carolina and her sister. Look at that. So many, so many. Okay, so what else are we finding in here? Okay. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought half the stuff. Do you ever do that, guys? Like, you buy stuff and then later on go, what was I thinking? Like, what was I thinking? Don't know, don't know. But why I bought all these Mary Janes? Purple, bright orange, don't know. I don't wear Mary Janes. I don't, I don't. Then I had to buy all these. <laughs> you ever do that? You, you buy these headbands? Like, I don't wear headbands either. So what was I thinking? I don't know, this one's kind of cute. Maybe I'll keep this one. Maybe I'll keep this one. This is kind of cute. Okay, we're gonna keep this one so far. Okay, all of those are going to Camila. Camila's going to want all of those. Okay, so, you know, the style is now to wear your socks on the outside of your work your workout pants. Yeah. So, I went and bought me a bunch. Somewhere, they're somewhere, I can't remember. And then I bought a bunch of white ones too, because, you know, black doesn't always go with everything. So... I am now buying crew socks because crew socks are the thing to wear. It just reminds me, guys, back in the 80s when we used to wear, um, uh, what were they called? Not slouch socks. Leg warmers. We used to wear leg warmers. And then we used to push them down. You know, leg warmers went clear up to your damn knees. But we used to take them and just shove them down so they would like just shove down a bunch around your ankle. So now that everybody's wearing their socks, 
on the outside of their workout pants. It, it reminds me of back in the days, in the 80s and 90s, when we wore leg warmers. Yes, I'm that old. Yes. So, anyways, hilariously funny. Camila's going to love all these tie dye socks. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. What was I thinking here? Yeah. That was a weird pair, right? Mmm. Okay. 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 So. I love, love, love. Look at this. Camila wants, I bet Camila's gonna want this. Look at it. You know what it is? Mm -hmm. Come here. So, you unzip it. Uh -huh. You put all your stuff in there, some money, blah, 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 blah. Uh -huh. And then you zip it shut. So then it goes around your belt, see? So, boom, okay. So anyways, you wear it right here. Mm -hmm. You unzip it, you put your money, whatever in it, boom, 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 mm -hmm. and then you zip it shut. And you can wear it, un wear it under your clothes so nobody sees it. Oh, that's right. So see, so like, I could, right here, mm -hmm. right here. Okay, so say you put your money in there and everything, mm -hmm. and then put your shirt over the top of it. And I'll see it. Nobody knows you're carrying money. Mm -hmm. So good. for your daughter, that's perfect. Cute. These socks too, Mrs. All the socks are for Camila. Oh. Look how fun they are. That's funny. Tie dyed. Look at bright. Camila yellow. like these colors. Bright yellow. Yeah. I like it. So that's all for Camila too. Mm-hmm. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Got me some headbands. Good God. Don't know what this is all about. Oh, this must be when I went to that jumping place, Sky Zone. I don't know if I'll ever go back there, but I better hang on to these socks, because what if I ever go back with the twins to Sky Zone? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to get ready to look at my scarf collections. Okay, guys, so I am now going to share with you my scarf collection. So as you know, in my other closet, I had my pull-out scarf rack, just like in this closet. So. It's kind of like with the pull in the kitchen, you have the pull out spice rack. Well, I have a, a pull out scarf rack. So it literally is two sided. So I'm going to grab the camera so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So on this side is a collection of scarves. And then on the back side is a collection of scarves. So I'm just going to carry you with me. Don't get sick, don't get sick. And then on this side, there's a collection of scarves. Yeah. So let's let's just start on this side. So let me position this so you guys can see pretty close up here. Okay, so you can clearly see up here, we've got Hermes, 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 Hermes. Oh yeah, that's Hermes, I'm sorry. So. Anyways, these are Hermes up here on this shelf. So, you know that I just recently got a new Hermes scarf, but I have yet to decide if I want to add it in here or not because I'm seriously considering framing it. So, I'm on the fence about it. I don't want to put any big wrinkles in it yet because I, I'm trying to decide. So. For now, this beautiful new Hermes scarf is laying on top of a shelf because I'm not sure about it yet. So I've got those seven scarves on that rod. And then you guys are like, well, how, how do you put them on there? So I literally twist the scarf and I take both ends of the scarf and I bring them up behind and then I grab the middle, grab those two and I pull it so it makes it pretty. Then you got two tails hanging down and you just shove it in there so it lays nice. So they all are put in there nicely. So then the next one is Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. And then I've got a Burberry. Now, the weird thing is, is I've got Louis Vuitton on that side too. So I'm trying to figure out why she did what she did. 
because Carolina always helps me set up the closet. But I think the reason she didn't do another row of Louis Vuitton down here is because these Louis Vuitton scarves are very long. There's a, there's a lot to them. Like, let's look at this one. This one, let me pull this back out a little bit. There's a lot of scarf. It's a big scarf. It's a very big scarf. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot of material. Well, by the time you gather it all up and then you stick it on the rod, whichever way you're gonna do it, normally we go corner to corner, so it's much, much longer. But anyways, by the time you wind it all up and everything, it's long. So then you don't wanna bunch all of that up. Let me adjust this so you guys can see what I'm talking about. You don't want to take and put all of this scarf down here and then have it all bunched up. So what these are, these are shorter scarves, much lighter weight. So I think that's why she decided to put those shorter, lighter weight scarves down there and keep the Louis Vuittons up here because over here, well, I don't know. Now I'm, I'm, now I'm beginning to wonder what she did here. So anyways. This is a beautiful, beautiful, there, very pretty Hermes scarf. Light, light, lightweight. Then you've got another pretty one, lightweight. Then you've got a really big, heavy one, and another big, or lightweight one. And then you've got another big, heavy one, another big, heavy one, another lightweight one. So now I'm kind of looking at these guys. Let's go back over here because now I'm getting confused, Carolina. She got me all confused. So I'm trying to figure out why she didn't keep the Louis Vuittons all on this side, because now I've got Chanel, 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 Gucci, Chanel. So actually, I'm beginning to think I can move my Chanel over here and put this row to be Louis Vuitton because you've got a beautiful Louis Vuitton here. You've got, of course, lightweight. Then you've got another lightweight, little tiny headscarf, Louis Vuitton here. Then you've got another Louis Vuitton here. You've got another Louis Vuitton here. It's one of my favorite. You've got a Louis here. I don't know why this is all bunched up. I'll have to fix that one. Now, somebody put this one in here wrong. They did the scarf wrong. So, like I said, you take it, you take the two legs, you bring them over the top, you bring it through the middle, and voila, there you go. Okay, but anyways, then you've got these three all Louis, and then you've got a strange one. Okay, what's a strange one? <laughs> You've got two strange ones. Okay, so these look like they're just plain, basic, black, really lightweight scarves. And these are probably just in here because they are a lightweight scarf that I would use to wrap around my head. This is basically, these are basically extremely lightweight. So basically I would do a Say I'm getting ready to go to a party and I need to look a certain way. I'm going to tie it up, boom, boom, boom. Or you can do this number, bring it around, bring it up, tie it up here for another look. Of course, it's not the same kind of hairdo that I would be wearing, but I'm just saying. There's all different kinds of ways to wear different scarves, whatever, whatever, whatever. But I'm just saying, these two black, seamlessly nothing scarves are exactly that. They're, they're just lightweight and they're used to wrap or do whatever I need to do with. So that's why they're up here on the top shelf. So let me put them back over here out of the way. So as you can see, this whole top shelf is Louis, Louis, Louis. So, we're now gonna put those down in the middle where they need to be. So now I have now decided that I would prefer 
this Chanel, this Chanel, I think this is a Chanel, should be, yes, it's a Chanel, lightweight. This is a nothing scarf, like, this is not a, let me put these up here so I don't get these tangled. This is a nothing scarf. I call it a nothing scarf because it's just a black and white scarf. Like, I'm just saying, it's not a name brand. It's just a black and white scarf, which could be worn. Oh, it's a Burberry. Good God, do you know how old this thing is? <gasps> oh my God, this was probably my very first. Oh my God, I totally forgot this was a Burberry. This was probably my very, very, very first ever designer scarf. It's a Burberry. Oh my God. I feel stupid now. Yes, you can tell me. Tracy, you're stupid. Oh my God. This was literally my very first designer scarf. I totally, totally forgot about it. Oh my God. Okay. This is a Chanel. Put that one up here. This is a Chanel. And this is a Chanel. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch these Chanel's and put them on the other side underneath the Hermes because I want to bring those Louis Vuitton over here. So let's take these scarves, lay them over here on this stand. Lord, this one's almost too big. This is almost so big it should go back where the capes and the shawls are because it doesn't, um, it doesn't hang right in here. Let me see. Let me see if I could just fold it and put it back here with. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to bring these Louis Vuittons over here. So we're going to take this Louis Vuitton. What do I say? Bring the tails between the middle. Bring it tight. What's this one? This is a shell too. Okay, so we're taking these Louis Vuittons and we're keeping them over here. Let's not tell Carolina we messed up with her. <laughs> She'll be like, why did you mess up my... Sorry, Carolina, I didn't like where you did it. Normally, Carolina gets it right, always. Like, But anyways, what we're doing is we're trying to keep the Louis Vuittons over here together. What I'm going to do, because I want to keep this one up here with these. I kind of like to keep stuff together. And these were all kind of brought in together. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to take this one down here. And that's how you do a scarf rack. Because remember guys, I always like to say, if I can't see it, I'm not gonna wear it. So I really like to have my scarves hanging to where I can just pull this rack out and determine where the scarf is that I want and get pulled out. Boom, boom, boom. That looks good. Boom. And I'm actually gonna bring this one down here, leave those little skinny ones up there. Let's bring this one down. I'm gonna put this one down here with these guys since there's more room now. Okay, so now I've got two rows of Louis Vuitton. Boom, boom, boom. Much, much better, guys. Much better. That did not roll right. <laughs> If Carolina saw me do that, she'd be like, Miss Teresa, you didn't do it right. There we go. Okay. Carolina is absolutely the best when it comes to organization in my closet. I love how she organizes things. Okay, so now we've got a bunch of Chanel's on this side. So now we can come over here. We've got more Chanel's. We've got a new... Louis Vuitton here, so let's pop him in here because he's going to want to fit in here too. 
Say hello, make room for me, guys. Let's pop this new Louie in here. Perfect. Okay, now we've got two nice rows of Louis Vuitton. So now I'm gonna double check and make sure whatever else is hanging in here is in the right position. Okay, so we finally have this figured out. So we've got our row of Louis Vuitton scarves up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in that row. Then you've got Louis Vuitton down here. One, two, three, four, five, six in that row. Okay, yeah. Then down here, you've got a row of Chanel. You've got navy blue, my favorite color blue, my other favorite color blue, that's three, a beautiful black and white, and black and white. That's just a nothing. And then these are just a couple little tiny nobodies, but I just hang on to them. So anyways, that's what's on this side. Then we're going over to this side and you've got a row of Hermes. One, two, three, isn't this pretty? Four, beautiful, five, purple. Look at this blue one, six, and then your red, black, and silver down here, seven. So you've got seven in that row. Nice. They tuck down in and hang right. And the way the way I hang these guys, they don't really get wrinkled bad. Then we're going to go down and do a row of, you've got a Christian Dior, another Dior. I'm going to stick this black Gucci in here. This black Gucci has been to everywhere and back with me. We're going to stick my other new Gucci that I just got the other day. You guys remember seeing this one when I got it the other day? Yes. So we're going to take this Gucci and we're going to throw him in here because he needs a lot of space to hang down. Boom. Yeah. So that leaves me a couple spaces down here on the end for some no names. And what I'm gonna do is I've got a Burberry right here. This is an older Burberry also, but I'm gonna take this older Burberry and I'm gonna stick him down here because I love when I have to wear some browns. And then I'm gonna take this older Burberry and I think I'm just going to stick him up here on this because he needs some space to hang, guys. He's long. So I think I'm just going to stick him up here next to this Gucci just so that he's got some space. And put him down. So we'll just put him up there. And then I've got another no name, but I like it because it goes with a lot of stuff. And I love it as a headscarf. So I'm going to put him down here. So basically, guys, that is how I do my scarf rack. So, like I said, I still have this Hermes that I'm not really wanting to stick in here yet because I just don't want to wrinkle it up yet because I'm just not sure. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? <laughs> here I thought I was doing so good. Look, I just pulled all these Chanel's out, guys. Remember when I just pulled all these Chanel's out? Oh my God, I gotta get these hung back up. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're not done yet. We're not done. wasn't meant to be pulled apart From everything I knew Like golden leaves When it's their time to fall But I didn't want to feel this way Try to be an out of place Give me a one-way ticket out of here Someplace I know I can be happy It's not Sit and cry about reasons why
Okay, guys, we finally got it right. Okay, so it's a good thing I chose today to do this because we were all messed up. So Carolina will be quite impressed that I was able to figure this all out on my own. So we've got the row of Louis Vuitton. We've got another row of Louis Vuitton. The bottom row is all Gucci. Well, it's a mixture. It's a mixture. So we've got some Gucci in here. We've got some Dior in here. And we've got a couple no names, but that fills out the bottom. Okay? That's one side. Then we come over here to the other side. And we have a row of Hermes. Then we've got a row of Chanel. And another row of Chanel. So, Chanel's, these two are no names down here on the bottom. I shouldn't say no names. Oh my God. <laughs> Burberry will kill me. I stuck my, my oldest, oldest, oldest Burberry back here because I only have one. And then I stuck a Burberry down here um, because I only had one short one down there. But all the rest are Chanel's. Chanel, 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 and then we top it up. So anyways, this is where I keep my scarf collection. It is called a scarf rack. I invented it over at my other closet. You remember that one. And so I said it worked so well, I wanted one here. So it basically is in there. Boom, nobody ever sees it, but I know where it's at. And then I'm able to just come over, find my scarves at a glance. Yeah. And voila, they don't get messed up and wrinkled. They're not laying in a drawer somewhere all shoved and wrinkled and nasty and so on. So actually today was a good day because I was able to go through a lot of stuff, get rid of a lot of stuff and organize my scarf rack that needed scarf preparedness, needed organized. So I am going to get ready. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out if I want to keep the lashes. I think I'm going to go another few weeks with it. I'm get, going in to do a lash uh, refill, I guess is what you call it today. Because I've noticed I've been, I don't know, called, I guess it's called shedding. I don't know. But anyways, um, I'm going to still give it another chance and go a few more weeks. Sometimes because I was so used to wearing uh false eyelashes all the time from my beauty queen days that after a while, if I got tired of feeling the weight of the false eyelashes, I would just take them off. <laughs> well, you can't these, I mean, like you gotta like give it a try. So I'm trying. So, oh, I need to stick that Burberry over with my other scarves. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Today was my first day back to the gym. First day of the year back in the gym. Felt so good, felt so right. Uh, I know I'm gonna be sore as hell tomorrow, but good way to start the year off. Um, getting back into the gym after the holidays and all the mess and everything we've gone through with Fashion Woodlands, fashion woodlands and the holidays and everything. Um, even though I've been doing my own workouts here at the house, it's just not the same as when I have to report to a trainer, which I know what that's like. I was a trainer for 30 years. I know what it's like, I know what it's like. So everybody needs somebody to hold them accountable. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you got something out of it. It's time, you know, new year. Let's just clean out the old in with the new. Let's get organized. Let's get ready to have a kick ass 2024. So make sure you jump over and join the vault. We are having so much fun in there. Those thirsty Thursday uh, coaching sessions are just so on fire, guys. People are having moments People are, are having revelations. People are having the aha moments. I'm, I'm just so glad that I can be a part of that and that I help bring that out. Um, and people are just getting past things in their life from their past and they're discarding it and getting rid of it and lightening the load. And you know, that I, that's what I said. Why drag all that crap into 2024 with you? Why? 
So if you haven't had time to join the vault, you can still get over there and join. And make sure you check out my uh, TR store too. We've got lots of TR products. I just got my TR robe. Yes, yes, I wanted a pink satin TR robe. So you can see it right here. It says TR Teresa Romer. It's a pink satin robe. I cannot wait to wear it. I think it's gonna be so much fun, but yes. Love it, love it, love it. Been getting so much TR stuff. You guys have seen me wearing the TR baseball cap. Love it. My ponytail holder, my bucket hat. Yes. My backpack. Yes, yes, yes. I got to get this new Chanel shawl put away and my Valentino belt put away. Got stuff laying over here that needs to put away. So anyways, guys, get organized. Let's go. Let's just... Let's just come into 2024 blasting. So until next time, bye-bye.